Hey Elena, this is Summer, just uh, making you a little short video. Probably going to be doing more of these because of the time difference. Um, it's just hard to chat with you when I have time because you're either sleeping or at a shoot or something. Anyways, I am just um, on this particular photo in the last one you uploaded group. Um, I just wanted to see if we could get a little bit darker sky and uh, brighten your flash a little bit. And it looks like it hit, the flash hit these guys and not so much dad, which means the flash was probably pointing over here, not centered, which is fine. Happens to me a lot as well. So when the sun is a little more intense than your flash, um, you're going to get some orangey and kind of faded look when the people that are closest to the sun. Um, so what I did, um, just to show you how I would more prefer it as far as the sunset. It looks like the sun's about to go behind here, so it's perfect time to take this shot. So what I did is I um, darkened everything and then went back in with the brush and lightened them up. So instead of this shot, let's try to get this one. It's quite obvious what I did here. Um, anyways, I'm just showing you the difference in lighting that I want. And I also downloaded some more pictures down here of a shoot that I did that's pretty much the same lighting. So the first shot, which is a, still a good shot, you know, the sun's right behind him, I think, here. But I wanted to do it darker. So I went in, and first of all, what I do is I just change the f-stop. So real quick, I'm going to show you in Lightroom, or sorry, in my pictures. So this is in my photos. So that picture was taken at a 5 0.6 f-stop. The only thing I changed was the f-stop. So what I did is I darkened it. So you can see now it's a 10. And you can tell that the flash I didn't do anything with because they're darker. Obviously when you up the f-stop it's going to darken everything. So anyways, um, so I went through, I'm showing you exactly how I did it. So I wasn't happy with the sunset. It was too blown out. So I darkened it. And then I up the flash, and this looks like it was close, but not close enough. And then, oh, too bright. So me just going through, I think that these are all the pictures in sequence. Um, and obviously they're, so again, it's, the flash is too bright. And then there. That's basically what I like. So. All I did was play with the flash. So again, I take time. Obviously, I take time to to get it right. I mean, I took like almost 10 unwanted pictures, if that makes sense. So it's basically that to that, that to that for the sky, and then you up the flash, OK? And I put it in Lightroom too. I just wanted to show you the f-stop. So basically, this was the shot, which was good, but I want that, that one shot that's an awesome sunset. This Also, this boat is anchored out here. So again, once you get the shot, try to cover anything in the background like it's not even there. So. Hopefully this helps, but we basically want to go from this shot where she's a little orange to not so much. I mean, it's it's nearly impossible to get that to come back later and fix it like I tried to do here. But I just wanted to show you for just the sunset shot and everything else is great. You know, we just want that one dark sunset shot. Everything else you're doing is spot on perfect. 
Um, if you have any questions on this, let me know. I'm sure you understand it. And uh, that's it. If you have any questions, I'll talk to you soon. I uh, hope your wedding went amazing yesterday. Uh, there's going to be lots of editing for that, I'm sure. And that's it. I'll talk to you soon.